Hey guys, welcome to How To Do Computers. I'm Mike, and today we're going over how to mount a CIFS or SMB share in Linux. In this video, I'll be using Debian Linux running out of an LXC container, but it should generally apply to any Debian-based distro, whether on bare metal or a virtual machine or container. So you'll want to start by either pulling up a console or by connecting via SSH to your machine. Here I'm connected via SSH as root, and for good measure, you can go ahead and do an apt update and an apt upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you're going to want to grab a package called cifs-utils. So we'll do apt install cifs-utils. And I already have it installed on this machine, so nothing was installed. This is just a simple tool that allows our machine to communicate with SMB shares over the network. So the share I'll be mounting will be from a Windows server running on a virtual machine on our Proxmox hypervisor. You'll need to know either the IP or the host name for this machine, and you'll also need to have a set of login credentials for an account that has access to the share that you're mounting. So what I've done is in our domain controller, I've created an account called SMB user. And then on our file server, I've created a share. I've just called it test share. And I've given the account SMB user full control. So they should be able to access this share. You could also create a local account on the machine where the share is running from, as long as you grant them access to the network share. So let's get back to our SSH on our Debian container. So we could just mount the share with the credentials right here in the command line, but in the interest of security, it's recommended that you store your credentials in a protected file. So let's go ahead and create that file. We'll use nano slash root slash period SMB cred. And what this will do is it will create a hidden file called SMB cred in the root directory. Let's go ahead and open that up to create it. And then you'll enter the username, password, and domain of the network share. In this case, our username is SMB user, our password is homelab1, and our domain is test. Go ahead and hit Control O to write out, enter, and then Control X to exit. And then we'll make the file as readable only by root by using the command chmod 400 and then the path to the file. And once you do that, you can use this command here, ls-al, and then the path to the file. And the output should look something like this. Now we will create a directory to mount our share to. So we'll use the command mkdir, and then the test share is going to be under slash mnt and test share. And then we can use the following command to test mounting the drive. That'll be mount.cifs-v, then the path to the network share, followed by the path that we want to mount the network share, dash dash verbose dash o, and then credentials equals, and then the path to the credentials file we created. And then we'll list out the contents of mnt slash test share. And then we can see there is a test document and a test folder that I created on the share before. So the share is mounted and we are able to see the contents. So here we've successfully mounted a network share. However, if you reboot the machine, the share will be unmounted and you'll have to manually remount the share each time the machine is booted. To have the machine automatically mount the share after it's rebooted, we need to edit a file called fstab, and it is under the etsy directory. So it's nano slash etsy slash fstab. And then you'll add a line that looks like this. It'll be the full path to the network share space, the full path to the mount point space, cifs space credentials equals, and then the path to your credentials file space zero space zero. So we'll go ahead and control O to write that out and exit. So now we'll go ahead and reboot the machine. It'll close our SSH connection and we'll wait a couple of minutes while that reboots. So now the machine is rebooted and we've logged back in. Let's go ahead and check the contents of the mount point that our share should be mounted to. And we can see that the network share has been mounted on restart. All right, that should be all for now. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you run into any issues, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.